There's a new book available and uh, a lot of tired parents are really looking forward to being able to read it and some of them are already using it. It's called The Rabbit Who Wants to Fall Asleep. And some people have asked, well, is it hypnosis? Is it hypnotherapy? Basically, it's a book that you can get from Amazon. There's a link below in the description, but you can also get it from the author's website. So you can get it for free. You can try it yourself. And what it does is it helps you if you've got a tired child or you're perhaps you're tired and your child's not going to sleep. And so people are saying, well, is it hypnosis? Well, when you look at it, it's interesting because the first thing that it says is uh, never warning. It says never read this book out loud close to someone driving any type of vehicle. And when you start to look at the language that's used, that's because it's hypnotic language. Now, that's actually completely fine because all it is is just calming. And this is what it's saying to you. It's telling you that one of the things you can do and probably the best tip and a tip that hypnotherapists like myself have used with our own children and helping other people for a long time is that when you're reading your child a story, if you yawn, you probably know yawning is quite contagious. And in fact, you can make your child start to yawn along with you and when you start to do that they start to get tired anyway so it's probably the best tip from the book in fact you almost don't need to buy the book what the book is really though and as i say you can get it free anyway is it's like a hypnotherapy script a script for a child it contains lots of calming ideas and it's lots of the things that we would do as hypnotherapists with people as i say though hypnosis is a perfectly safe perfectly natural form and it's something that it's a bit like that idea of when you're falling asleep or daydreaming or just before you wake up so it's absolutely ideal for helping your child to sleep. You can buy the book, but actually a lot of the things you can do, you can do for yourself. It's something that I've been doing for years and so have lots of other hypnotherapists. If you've got a tired child and you tell them a story, tell them a story of themselves. If you yawn during the story and you can talk slower and more relaxing anyway, it'll calm your child down. I've often told stories where perhaps if I'm talking to a little boy, that would be a story about a prince or a girl, a story about a princess, and maybe they'd go on some adventure, and during the adventure they'd probably get quite tired. And you find that when they get tired in the story, and it's a bit like the story here, that they start to fall asleep, and they can fall asleep whenever they want to. There's lots of uses of hypnotic language. There's the idea of saying, you well, I don't know if you'll fall asleep now or if you'll fall asleep later. When you say that, as it is in the story, you're basically saying you'll fall asleep at some point and you're telling the child that they're going to do it. So it's a really interesting book, and it's worth checking out. As I say, you can check it out for free anyway. But you could try the techniques on your own. If you have a child, if you're finding it hard, obviously you need to calm them down at bedtime. But tell them a story. Make them a story up, and they'll love you for it. They'll love that much more than perhaps reading a story. We all know how much children write a petition, and maybe they'll love this story. But if you make up your own stories, you can make up a different story every night, or maybe you'll just have to keep telling the same one. Keep yawning along with it, and you might well find that your child falls asleep really easily as well. There's lots more videos on this channel. If you'd like to subscribe, you can subscribe now and see as many as you'd like.